Room tells the harrowing story of a mother and child who escape after being held for years in captivity in the struggle to adjust to the outside world. It's based on the best-selling book by Irish-Canadian novelist Emma Donoghue. It won the People's Choice Awards at this year's Toronto International Film Festival. And that's where CTV's Marcy McMillan sat down with Emma and the film star Brie Larson. Truck, wiggle out, jump, run, somebody. I'm scared. I know. I'm going to be there in your head talking to you the whole time. Truck, wiggle out, jump, jump when the truck slows down, run, run somebody. somebody. What is it like seeing your book on the big screen? Well, for any writer, it's just thrilling for their book to have made it as far as the big screen, because we're all used to things being optioned and developed and not making it. But in addition, for it to be something I've been so involved with and for me to be so proud of the result, it's just extraordinary. I couldn't be happier. Was there a bit of a conflict like, at first because you would be attached to the novel, so then you might have some concerns about how it's going to be translated? If you have that attitude, then you should just sell the rights and walk away. I don't think a writer should attempt to become the screenwriter unless they genuinely have an enthusiasm for cinema as a form and unless they think the cinema can bring out aspects of the story that a book doesn't, you know. I really think, you know, the book and the film each have their own strength. I mean, the film gives the characters such physical life, you know, and you get to see Jack in his child body and the naturalness of it. And also the film really shows you Ma's story directly, whereas in the book you have to sort of deduce her story from behind. Jack. So I think actually the film is going to be enormously satisfying to all those fans of the book who, who've written to me over the years asking for more about Ma and explain more about what she went through. The film is a real two-hander. Thank you for letting us do this interview. We're grateful to hear your story. Thank you to everyone who sent their good thoughts and their prayers. For five years, you made life in that small room, that prison, as nurturing and normal as you could. <sighs> Let's start with how you prepared for this role, physically, mentally. What did you have to go through to play Ma? Well, I just had to sort of break her down into all these little bits and then tackle them one by one to sort of see her as the sum of all of these parts. So kind of developed who she was before Room at 17, what her likes and interests were, then what it would be like to be kidnapped and trapped in a room for seven years, and then there's the lack of sunlight, the lack of proper nutrition, a uh, pregnancy, uh, giving birth alone, and now having, being a, mo a mother for five years. And so sort of tried to mirror the experiences in the closest way I could without like being harmful to myself. So I worked with a nutritionist and went on like a very specific sort of rigid diet. I got a ton of blood work done, so it was like totally safe, but kind of getting in that mindset of there being very few options when it came to food. Um, I couldn't be in the sunlight for many months. Mm -hmm. And um, I stayed at home for a month and just tried to see what that felt like. And what about your maternal instincts? Because you're not a mom yet, but yet you have this incredible relationship with your son. You're, you're each other's worlds. Yeah. Where did that come from? I think we just really like each other. I think it's just as simple as that, yeah. The second we met, we were just like very fast friends. I mean, he's just my pal. He's my partner in crime through all of this. And what was it like to film, to film in such a tiny, confined space? Well, it was small. Because, I mean, it's the whole concept is that it's small for two people, and we had a crew of eight in there. So it was a tight squeeze, and you always felt like you were in somebody's way. Um, and usually when you're making a movie, the process, the creative process sort of mirrors the, the plot of the movie and this movie was no exception. So the whole time we were in room, the crew and everyone were just like, ugh, can't wait to get out of room. Once we get through this escape sequence, because we shot in chronological order, once we get through the escape and we're outside of the world, it's going to be so much better, so much easier. And then of course, that's not the case. It was the dead of winter in Toronto. We were constantly caught in snowstorms. It was brutal. And within a week, the entire crew was like, really wish we were back in room. You're gonna love it. What? The world. Room opens October 23rd in Toronto and across the rest of Canada, November 6th.